Hello, and welcome to Reveille. Today's call to action is make sure that every Latino in America is counted in the 2020 census because our political power is at stake. We have to ask ourselves, despite the strong objections of former census directors representing both Republican and Democratic administration, 60 members of Congress, 161 Republican and Democratic mayors, 19 attorneys general, over 170 civil rights organizations, and prominent business leaders. Why did the Commerce Secretary decide to add the question, are you a citizen, to the 2020 decennial census? The reason for the decision was simply politics. The word politics is commonly used to explain whatever we don't understand or can't be explained for lack of information. But that is not the case in this situation. Let me explain. Experts predict that over 20 million non-citizens could choose to not answer the question or complete the census form and contribute to what is expected to be another enormous undercount of minorities and immigrants. But if they don't answer the question, they will not be considered living persons and won't be considered in the drawing of congressional district boundaries. This will significantly reduce the size of congressional delegations in states like New York, Florida, Texas, and California with large immigrant populations, reduce the number of seats these states have in Congress, and reduce the number of votes these states have in the Electoral College. For example, there are 107 congressional house districts in which 10% or more of the population are non-citizens. Democratic incumbents are considered safe in 86 of 86 such districts. By comparison, 13 of 21 Republican incumbents are considered to be in battleground districts where 10% or more of the population are non-citizens. So how do you make Republicans safe in 21 of 21 House districts? You don't count non-citizens who technically are not living and substitute white Republican voters in their place to make those districts safe. Unfortunately, the loss of political representation for non-citizens would be incalculable at all levels of government. This injustice must be stopped. Support organizations that will be filing lawsuits. Most importantly, register to vote and get ready for the 2018 November election. We must win this fight. Make sure everyone is counted and win in November.